Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle uh, with the center O oh, fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, A, B, C. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the points uh, D, E and F uh, are our points of tangency. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region. And moreover, uh, this horizontal segment uh, FC length uh, is 9 units, whereas this uh, vertical segment uh, AE length uh, is 6 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Let's label the radius as lowercase r and now we are going to find the value of radius r. So therefore I'm going to connect this center O with these two points uh, E and F as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OE is the radius of this uh, circle. I'm going to label this one as lowercase r and likewise uh, this uh, OF is radius as well. So I'm going to label that one lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be a 90 degrees angle and likewise this is a 90 degree angle as well. Since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines. And as a result we are ended up with this uh, square uh, EBFO. And now we can see that this segment uh, BF length uh, equal to this segment uh, EO length. This is the lowercase r. So therefore this is going to be lowercase r as well. And likewise uh, this segment EB is going to be equal to this segment uh, OF which is lowercase r. So therefore this is going to be lowercase r as well. So therefore uh, this whole uh, segment uh, BC length is going to be lowercase r plus 9. So therefore we can write uh, lowercase r plus uh, 9. And likewise, uh, this side uh, AB length is going to be lowercase r plus 6. So therefore, uh, this side length turns out to be lowercase r plus 6. And now let's recall the two tangents theorem. According to this theorem, uh, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, then they are congruent as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see our external point is O. And the points uh, A and B are our points of tangency. Then this segment uh, AO is going to be equal to this segment uh, BO. And we are going to apply this uh, two tangent theorem on this given problem. So therefore we can see that this uh, segment uh, AD is equal to this segment uh, AE. This segment is 6. So therefore AD segment has got to be 6 as well. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, CD is going to be equal to this segment uh, FC. If this is 9, then this uh, CD segment is 9 units as well. So therefore, this whole uh, hypotenuse uh, AC side length is going to be 6 uh, plus 9 is going to make it uh, 15 units. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find the value of this uh, radius lowercase r. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case our hypotenuse is 15 whereas our two other legs are r plus 6 and r plus 9. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, r plus 6 square plus likewise r plus 9 square equals to 15 square. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2 times a b plus b square. And we are going to apply this identity on these two binomials on the left hand side of this equation. So therefore we are going to have r square 
plus 12 times R plus uh, 36 plus likewise R square plus uh, 18 times R plus uh, 81 equals to 225. Let's combine the like terms. So we are going to have a, now we are going to subtract 225 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore we are ended up with the 2 times uh, R square plus uh, 30 times uh, R minus uh, 108 is going to be equal to 0. And now we can see all these uh, terms of this equation are divisible by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2 across the board to make our job simple. So therefore we are going to get simply R square plus 15 times R minus 50 or equal to 0. So thus we are ended up with this quadratic equation uh, r square plus 15r minus 54 equal to 0 and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. And now let's focus on this uh, constant negative 54 that could be written as uh, positive 18 times uh, negative uh, 3. And if we add these two numbers 18 minus 3 that is going to give us positive 15 which is same as uh, this uh, coefficient. So therefore we are going to tweak this uh, middle term. Positive 15 r could be written as uh, positive 18 r minus uh, 3 r. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see between first uh, two terms uh, lowercase r is in common. And likewise in last two terms uh, negative 3 is in common. So therefore we could write uh, r times uh, r plus uh, 18 and here minus 3 outside uh, r plus 18 equal to 0. And now we can see r plus 18 and r plus 18 they are in common. So therefore we could write uh, r minus 3 times r plus 18 equal to 0 and now we can separate them. For this first equation, lowercase r radius is going to be equal to positive 3. For this second equation, lowercase r radius is going to be negative 18. And now we can see r has a negative value that is not feasible. So therefore we are going to reject this negative value of r and we are going to accept this positive value of r as 3. So thus our radius uh, lowercase r value turns out to be 3 units. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded region. And now let's make an observation. We can see the green shaded region area is going to be equal to the square EBFO area minus the quarter circle uh, area. And here we can see this uh, is our uh, square uh, EBFO area and then minus uh, this uh, quarter circle area. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square EBFO and likewise we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle uh, as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, square EBFO. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square where lowercase s is the side length of the square and here the side length of this uh, square is lowercase r whose value is 3. So therefore uh, this square area is going to be 3 square that is going to give us uh, 9. And finally now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle uh, as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius. And our radius uh, is uh, 3. So therefore uh, the quarter circle area is going to be equal to pi divided by 4 times uh, r square. And now we are going to substitute this uh, lowercase r value as 3 over here. So therefore this is going to give us pi divided by 4 times uh, 3 square. That is going to be equal to 9 times uh, pi divided by 4. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. And we already figured out our uh, square area and the quarter circle area as well. 
let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation so we got uh, 9 minus uh, 9 pi divided by 4 square units so that's the green shaded region area turns out to be 9 minus 9 pi divided by 4 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 1.93 square units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye